For the school year of 2013 to 2014 for third graders, the move on when reading law will begin. Third graders must be able to read at a fourth grade level proficiently or they will have to retake the third grade. Most schools, including Arizona charter schools, will be required to follow this law. Before the new law had been approved, more than 4,000 third graders statewide failed far below in the reading portion of the Arizona Instrument to Measured Standards test in the spring of 2011. The first reason people concluded was simply that kids can't read. You see, because sometimes some kids don't know how to read and they need help reading. Many students have been affected by this law and are afraid of what grade they will be placed in next year. In this law, students will be assessed for their phonetics, phonetic awareness, reading comprehension, fluency, and vocabulary. After the new law passed, 5,000 third graders fell far below in the Arizona Instruments to Measured Standards test. So far, 200 third graders will be forced to repeat third grade. grade level. They would have to repeat the grade again, and that would be really hard for them because some of the kids that were in second grade and that will now be in third grade are going to get teased. This new reading law doesn't apply to students with disabilities, students that have been learning English for fewer than two years with an English instructor, students that have repeated a grade twice, students that have proven that they can read on an alternative test, and parents that asked for and or received an exemption. With this law being passed, it is not only showing people that students are failing in reading, but they are also failing in other subjects in school. Students are not only behind in elementary school, but in high school as well. There are many different classes made to improve the reading levels of high school students. Some are to improve very high level readers, like the International Baccalaureate Program, while others help students that have trouble reading. But are they really helping? A very popular quote says, it all begins in a classroom. Mm. The new law is bringing a lot of things to education. The, 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 of course, the Hispanic kids are in disadvantage because I don't want to say that uh, they're going, they have different needs, they have different needs in their lives and, and different priorities. But uh, it's going to affect them in, in, I think it's going to affect, affect them from some point. I, I have in my, I'm, I'm keeping, I, I, I am keeping my heart open to see that it's going to be uh, something new because uh, being, being the new law, we're going to be, we live in a competitive world in, where, in which the kids have to be uh, competing with other children. Uh, 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 it's a global thing uh, uh, in the world, not only in the United States, but um, in other countries they're already using that, uh, that, that the same rules when the child, not in elementary education, but in the higher grades. But I think it's going to motivate, motivate the, the parents and the students to to be to be in control of what what they're learning and if it's important the priority that they're going to give uh, to their educational uh, background or their uh, or to realize that receiving an ed an education is important President Barack Obama has been debating over schools in Arizona to disclose the law and allow states and to opt out of federal No Child Left Behind law. This is Olivia Parker, reporting from Spot 127.